Question the member from Ottawa Centre. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is also for the Minister of Community and Social Services. Minister, with International Women's Day yesterday, I wish to raise the plight of women and children fleeing violence in my community and sadly in communities everywhere. Many constituents of mine in Ottawa Centre have approached me with concerns for these individuals and families. Even though we are facing difficult economic times as a government, I feel very strongly that we need to provide support to those who need it, when they need it, as well as have the right to safety and security in our own community. Mr. Speaker, will the Minister share with my constituents what we have done in Ottawa Centre to help support women and their children who are victims of violence? Thank you, Speaker, and thank you for, for this question. I know that the member from Ottawa Centre is very engaged in that uh, in uh, reducing violence against women. I'm very proud to tell the member from Ottawa Centre that this government uh, recently uh, announced that we are providing more than $3 million to Interval House in Ottawa to construct a 25-bed women's shelter, providing jobs and building stronger community foundation. At the Interval House, these funds will support a new shelter to replace the existing facility. The new facility will offer expanded accessible services and enhancement to support Ottawa area women and their children fleeing domestic violence. I'm very happy to see that since 2003, a speaker funding to, for violence against women program in the city of Ottawa has almost doubled. Wow. Furthermore, there are currently 123 emergency shelter beds available. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Minister, as I mentioned previously, the safety of women and their children is a concern that is not isolated only to my riding or my city, but unfortunately across the province and beyond. Women have a fundamental right to enjoy safety and security in their own homes, but sometimes their home simply cannot be a place for refuge for a threatened woman. This government must do what it can to help those fleeing violence, allowing women and children to remove themselves from harm and into a safe environment. Through you, Mr. Speaker, I would like to know how this government is improving services for women and families facing violence across Ontario. Speaker, I will uh, redirect this question to uh, the Minister responsible for women issues. Thank you very much, and I want to thank the member from Ottawa Centre for his advocacy on this important issue uh, and the work that he does uh, with Crime Prevention Ottawa and so many groups who work hard in partnership with government to ensure that women and their children can be safe in their homes, in their communities, in their workplace. And, Speaker, this has been an issue of utmost importance to our government. We have invested more than $208 million to protect wow. women from violence and support victims of abuse, and that includes our 80 Seven million dollar domestic violence action plan. More than 15,000 frontline professionals and service providers have been trained to detect domestic violence and support victims. We've strengthened our response in the justice system. We've made improvements in our family law courtrooms. We've helped women gain gain economic independence with more than 1,200 abused or at-risk women receiving job training. New question: The member from Simcoe Gray. Thank you, uh, Mr.